Hi everybody, it's Steffi here from the Net Human Letter Kenny. Today we're going to be hearing Anthony speaking on a painting of John the Baptist and how John the Baptist is um, alertly waiting for the Lord and how he's preparing the way for the Lamb of God. We hope you enjoy. Take care. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds. I tell you solemnly, of all the children born of women, a greater than John the Baptist has never been seen. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he is. Since John the Baptist came, up to the, this present time, the kingdom of heaven has been subject, subjected to violence, and the violent are taking it by storm. Because it was towards John that all the prophecies of the prophets and the law were leading, and he, if you will believe me, is the Elijah who was to return. If anyone who has ears to hear, let him listen. The Gospel of the Lord. We've just heard Jesus speak about his cousin John the Baptist. I came across this painting by Gerd Ken Tant Sint Jans, and it's a painting of John the Baptist. It's a peculiar one because, well, I suppose we're perhaps used to seeing John the Baptist all rugged and wild. Indeed, this one depicts John the Baptist out in the wilderness. But it's interesting that in some ways it doesn't seem like a desert or it doesn't seem like maybe perhaps anywhere that you might find in um, Israel and in that part of the world. But nonetheless, there's value to it. Why is that? Well, there's two things that gives us a kind of a further insight into why Jesus commends John the Baptist and then how that reflects, and helps us to reflect on um, those who belong to the kingdom of God. The first being that in this painting, we see John the Baptist sitting down and it looks like he's resting his head. However, if we look a little bit closer, we actually see that he's wide awake. So we have this kind of contrast of resting and being wide awake. And you get this real sense that he is waiting. And perhaps John the Baptist here captured, it's captured that he is waiting for the Lord. He's waiting for the Lord to come in his glory. And he is at the same time as he's waiting, his eyes are awake, he's alert, and he's reflecting on what things will be like when the Savior comes. What things will be like when the Lamb of God, who is promised, will come. And that's the second thing, is that we see a little picture of a lamb sitting beside John the Baptist. And this is really lovely, um, a lovely reflection of how, in a very subtle way, God is somehow present with him. Why do we say God? Because John the Baptist, in his preaching, points out the Lamb of God to his disciples. So he, in that sense, prepares the way for Jesus' coming, because we believe Jesus is the Lamb of God who is slain for our sake so that we might be saved. But the littleness of the Lamb is striking, and though the greatest prophet there actually has been no greater prophet than John the Baptist. And yet, um, here we see a little lamb reflecting the littleness of the ones who belong to the kingdom of God. 